What's going on guys, it's Jake here and today we have a disgusting Game Boy Pocket. Uh, it's not nearly as bad as some of the other things that I've bought over the past couple months of me doing this stuff, but let's just hop right into it. Let's see if this thing actually works. I did test this in a video that I recorded yesterday because I've been recording a ton of videos recently, but I genuinely just don't remember what happened with this one. So I believe it works, but let's see. There's no light, so it's kind of hard to tell. Um, there we go. It works. And it reads the, the game. Really have to press on the start button there. A seems to work, B seems to work, left, right, down. I uh, can't really test if up works. I wasn't talking to you? Okay. Siri just wanted to go off <laughs> for a second there. All right, I'm not gonna waste a ton of time. Uh, I'm not gonna waste a ton of time playing Tetris through my viewfinder, but this all works except for the start button is a little gross, and that's just because the rest of this device is gross. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, clean this bad boy up. Oof, there's some liquid damage in here. Just right along here, which is good because I'll have to uh, make sure that the uh, link cable still works in this, but it looks like that's all it hit, and it doesn't even look, eh, I guess a little bit on the inside, but the pins look good from my angle, uh, but we're just gonna keep tearing this apart and see. And there's the motherboard. Uh, yeah, the uh, start and select are a little bit dirty, Probably a little bit more water damage there, but not too bad, there's no corrosion. Just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. So, let's put this off to the side and get out the trusty IPA and just douse it real quick. Grab a toothbrush and already that link cable port is looking a lot better, just scrubbing it like that but we're gonna get the rest of it and come back around. Uh, the contacts for the battery look pretty good. It's gonna be kinda hard to see, but it's actually doing a good job focusing. And then we'll go ahead and do the same thing on the front. And already the uh, contacts for start and select are looking a lot nicer. Nice and shiny gold. And then we'll get the speaker right here because there's quite a bit of dust and gunk in it. And this is really all you gotta do to clean up a Game Boy. It's very simple. You just need some isopropyl alcohol. This is 70%. I usually do around 90 or higher if I can, but 70% works. You just wanna make sure that it's all dry when you're done. So I'm gonna let this air dry a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna wipe it down. I'm gonna grab a paper towel and just wipe things down nice and softly, nothing too rough. Sometimes using a paper towel just to clean things up can uh, get some things that the toothbrush won't get. So some people say that it's too rough to use a paper towel and I haven't had any problems with it. Uh, I've only been doing this for the past four months, but I'd like to think that I know a little bit about what I'm doing here. I'm gonna get inside the link port a little bit more. Some people use Q-tips and cotton swabs for this kind of stuff, but I just, I feel like having the fibers rip apart so easily is just not good for the motherboard if it, like anything gets left in, and then it's just an extra piece of whatever left there, so I typically don't use them. But the shell and stuff is 
pretty nasty. The buttons, everything really needs a deep clean. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the screen out and the uh, this metal bracket here. I thought this was my screwdriver. It's a toothbrush that is rather gross now from cleaning. <laughs> but we'll unscrew these real quick. I need to get a smaller head thanks to my I fix it toolkit, I've got a ton of screwdriver bits and I only use about seven of them. So. <laughs> but we'll get this torn apart here and we're gonna soak it in some hot dish soapy water. Almost forgot, gotta get that battery contact out of there. Uh, I mean, some people say don't soak them. I soak them, but I'd make sure it's nice and dry so it doesn't rust because that is a problem you don't want any rust or corrosion on these battery contacts but I have not had that problem when cleaning them so yeah I'm gonna soak this just like the rest of it give it a good clean and make sure it's nice and dry before I put it back in and I can already see there's a if you're wondering what that is that's a dead bug right there that's awesome yeah look how nasty this is I don't know if you can see it let's see how much I can zoom in here yeah it's not focusing on it but uh, I think you get the idea <laughs> sorry if you're a little squeamish but that's not that bad I I'm pretty squeamish and that's that's stuff I can handle I don't like it but I can handle it. And to get the screen out, I just wiggle it back and forth. Try not to break the shell, but once I get one edge up high enough, maybe, oh, the dead bug was sticking to me. That's awesome. So like right here, I can go ahead and put my fingernail maybe underneath that corner and lift it up. And there we go. This is actually, Hold on, let me zoom back out so it's not as dark. But this is actually in really good condition. Uh, the Game Boy Pocket screens are famous for breaking over time and having the liquid crystals pop and you get black marks all over the screen. And my actually my first Game Boy Pocket that I bought a couple months back had a big splotch in there. I was like, oh, the screen placement wouldn't be that hard. Yeah, it's hard to find one of these. So yeah, don't buy those unless you're gonna IPS mod it or you actually have one of these at a good rate because these go for like 30 bucks, the original ones. But I'm just gonna plop all the little plastic pieces inside of the shell and this will all go into a bucket to soak. And well, oh, almost forgot the power switch, but I will uh, show you how I do that. Let's start putting this back together. There's still a little bit of uh, little spots, but that's just stained that I literally cannot get out, which sucks, but it happens. So we deal with it and we move on. <laughs> but overall, I think this looks so much better. This is something that I actually feel comfortable selling to people and a product that I'd actually buy myself, especially knowing how clean it really is even though there still are some spots and I you know there might be a way for me to 
actually get that out but just a little spot that no one's ever going to see it doesn't bother me I think it'd be fun to enter a competition with other Game Boy YouTubers and uh, see who can put together, like take apart and put together a Game Boy fastest and do like all the different versions of Game Boys and stuff. I think that'd be a fun video or competition to watch because even though I don't really consider myself a Game Boy, YouTuber, I would uh, I definitely have a lot of experience when it comes to taking these apart and putting them together because I feel like I've done it a million times already in the couple months that I've been doing this as I'm struggling to get one screw in. <laughs> I think that is the hardest part is the small screws make it hard to line up there we go. I'm never really good at keeping the Game Boy Center on screen, so I apologize. But we got the last three screws here as I'm still fumbling with them. I wish the screw bits for the iFixit toolkit were a little bit more magnetic, but I, I'm sure it's hard to find a powerful magnet to put in this tip. I don't even know how that works really, honestly. But it doesn't matter. We are at the home stretch here. We just put in these two batteries, slap the battery cover on the right way there, and uh, where's my Tetris game here? My classic uh, Rift label tennis tennis tetris game and uh contrast there we go and let there uh, let there be games start button actually works well now too i knew it just need a nice little clean and here's my traditional game of looking through the viewfinder to play Tetris. If you guys did enjoy this video, hit that like button. If you could let me know if you guys are really enjoying this in the comments down below, that'd be greatly appreciated. And if you're new and did enjoy this video, hit that subscribe button. And uh, I don't really care if you hit the notification bells. Uh, as long as you like watching my videos and continue to watch my videos, then uh, that's fine with me. I just realized there's a screen protector on this. Well, I'm gonna have to clean the screen now, great. Oh boy, awesome. But that's it for me, and I will see you guys in the next one. Later, guys. If you could let me know if you guys are really enjoying this in the comments down below, that'd be greatly appreciated. And if you're new and did enjoy this video, hit that like button, or,